is going on? Welcome to the Nintendo Powercast. I'm your host, N64 Josh. This is NPC Mini, episode 84. That music you just heard from On Being Human, you can check them out on Spotify and YouTube. Remember, this is not the official Nintendo Podcast. You can find that Nintendo Power Podcast. If you want to get yourself a free book from Audible, you can go to audibletrial.com slash NPC. Pick from one of so many books. Get something good like Ready Player One or Super Mario. Good stuff there. Audibletrial.com slash NPC. Guys, if you want to start your own podcast, go to podbean.com slash NPC. You could even set up a free account. Just see if it's for you. That's podbean.com slash NPC. The chair I'm sitting in from OPC. Go to opc.com. Check out their comfortable, affordable gaming chairs. Use coupon code N64JOSH to save $10 at checkout. If you want to get yourself an extra podcast each month, you can go to patreon.com slash N64JOSH. You can check out all of the tiers available there. And lastly, if you want to get yourself an NPC t-shirt or coffee mug or sweatshirt, Go to n64josh.com slash store. All of those links will be available in the show notes, which will be n64josh.com slash npc84. All right. We have a couple of announcements. Are you guys ready? couple of announcements. Hey, listen. All right. You can watch this show live. Every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Every Thursday, it's coming in around 6.30. And there may be some nights that it just ends up being super late or whatever just because of, of life. So, um, But I'm shooting tentatively for 6.30 on Thursdays. I'm writing a new book. I'm actually taking this whole week off. And I am into Chapter 5 of, of my book. It's basically, just to give you a quick little sneak peek, I'm basically looking at Super Mario Brothers and how it, uh, basically the, the lessons that we can learn from it. The, the life lessons, um, lessons in entrepreneurship, and uh, just kind of enjoying the adventure along the way. So I've been working on that all week. I'm hoping for a March release, but we'll see. I'm sorry, May release. March was last month. Uh, a May release, but... You know, I want to make sure I get it to get it to how I like it. So it will be available in audible or yeah, in audible form, not on audible. It, I'll just be, I'll be self publishing it. You'll be able to pick it up from my site and, uh, and you can read it as well. So there you go. My new book's coming out. It's going to be called another castle. And lastly, I have the smash bros cast. The episodes are coming out every Friday and I am, uh, I'm on episode six or seven of that. And so we're going to start breaking down some characters and just getting some tips from the community and that kind of stuff, just all in preparation for smash on the switch. So pretty, pretty excited about that. So let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We got to get to, uh, we got to get to sales. I need to grab my switch. All right. So, we got we got some releases and some sales this week on the Switch. It opens right up to Rocket League, of course. That was the last thing I was playing. As far as sales go for this week and releases, I know a couple of the releases. One, Skies of Fury DX. I have the review on n64josh.com, also on YouTube. And uh, I give the game a 7.2. I, th I thought it was good. I just thought it was kind of lacking content a little bit. All right. So as far as other recent releases, we have Don't Starve, Streets of Red, Word Search, Skies of Fury, like I mentioned. Uh, is it Regelia, I think, is what it looks like. Um, Eternal Edge, uh, As Divine Hearts, I think. Burly Men at Sea, which looks to be pretty funny. Rogue Aces. Break Force, I can't even read the text here. Break Force, Break Forces Battle? I'm not sure what that is. Shelter Generations and Drone Fight look to be the uh, the the releases for this, this week. So, let's move on over to sales here. Games on sale. We got, once it loads, come on. Come on, Switch. Oh, it's just not going to load. Oh, there we go. Okay. 
Slay Away Camp is 50% off. Let's just kind of look it through. Zeo Drifter here, we still got 50% off. Layers of Fear, if you're into some some uh, some horror games, is 15% off. Mad Carnage is 20% off. Uh, Grand Prix, 20% off. Draw a Stickman Epic 2 is 28% off. So, 28% off, there you go. Uh, the End is Nigh, 20% off. Um, Aces of Luf Lufwafe, I think I said that right. I need to pick that one up. It's 33% off. It looks really fun. It looks really good. I want to I wanna play that one. I remember the guys at uh, Nintendo Voice Chat just going on and on about it. They were really into it. So, uh, looks like a game called Night Terrors is on sale. Uh, Tumblestone, you still have the Jackbox Party Pack. Cave Story is on sale for $23.99. Binding of Isaac is on sale. Graceful Explosion Machine. And uh, Shovel Knight on sale. The Treasure Trove, $19.99. Or just uh, uh, looks like, let's see, what's this one here? The Spectre of Torment you can get for $7.99. So there's some sales on the Switch for this week. Make sure to uh, to pick up any of the any of the games you missed. There's you know it's not like we don't have any games to play. Man, there's so uh, <laughs> there's so many of them right now. So as far as news, you guys ready? Let's get into the news. All right. Well, this first little piece <laughs> is it's it's not really news but it's something you don't want to miss and it's rabid peach dancing to beyonce's naughty girl and uh it's really quite it's really quite something to see so i will include a link to the video in the show notes <laughs> so you can check it out but uh let's just say that uh, rabid rabid peach has got some moves she's got some sass and uh you know, Kirby Geek in all caps is like Rabbit Peach made the news. <laughs> so yeah, pretty uh, pr pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Make sure you, you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. So check check the uh, check the link for that. It's pretty funny. Pretty funny. So this, some of you guys watching live or you're watching this on YouTube, you can see that. Uh, in my overlay is there's a couple of switches, and you can see me, of course, in one. And in the next one, you can see Pokemon. And, and Pokemon's in the news for, for two things this week. This is a rumor, but I've I've and I've seen a few different outlets covering it. This this could be exciting news. Again, right now, just take it with a grain of salt. It could be a rumor. But the rumor is we are going to see Pokemon in 2018 if localization can get finished and they can get the carts uh, basically printed and made. So let me break it down. This is from at Pixelpar on Twitter. And I'm just going to read the whole tweet. It says, it's a bit late, but I'm happy to finally confirm that Pokemon Switch was, is undergoing localization. The previous job listings I mentioned were almost certainly for it. I can't provide evidence without throwing people under the bus. So you'll just have to trust me on this one. So that's, that's the rumor. The question is, and I'm going to, I'm going to ask chat here live too. When does this game when does this game come out? If if Pokemon is coming out this holiday, are we going to see maybe a late October, November release? You know, the the other the other big game that's this holiday is Red Dead. But I feel like Pokemon can uh, they it can it can hold its own really. I think it could come out at any time, and it's probably probably going to be just fine. Tadawaka says November second week. It's a good guess. It's a good guess. Again, this is just a rumor. We don't know for sure if this is actually happening or not. But according to this this tweet, it is going to be out this year. I don't know. I don't know. For Max, it says if it's coming out this year, I'm guessing later 2018, so late November, early December. Nightcrawler, December 31st. For once, Amazon will have the right date listed on their site. Um, 
Kirby says, yeah, week before Black Friday, they hate missing that. Totally makes sense. I mean, everybody's shopping then, so, you know, they don't they don't want to miss that. Who knows? I I believe, and, and don't quote me on this, I don't have it in my notes, but I believe it was the GameStop CEO said this week that the games he knows about that are coming out were all going to be... Um, like pretty, pretty, pretty happy about it. So uh, talking just Nintendo releases, Pokemon would definitely make a lot of people really happy. I'm really excited to jump into a Pokemon game and, uh, you know, the switch would really be the console to help me like jumpstart that. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm kind of hoping, I mean, I don't know when I'm going to play it with smash and everything else that's coming out, but Hey, hopefully, hopefully it, it, it truly is. All right. The next bit of Pokemon news is that there's r- rumors that a theme park could be ready as soon as 2020 uh, in Florida. So, I, are you guys in chat? Does this get you guys excited? Do you think we're? Uh, will you head down to uh, to Florida to uh, to check this out? Would this be would this be your vacation spot? I don't know that it necessarily would be for me, but. Uh, still something pretty pretty cool for the kids to check out i'm sure i all i'm seeing is uh i'm i'm seeing laughing in the chat right now uh (laughs) kirby says i mean i was gonna go anyway so (laughs) there you go (laughs) i mean if i gotta go see pokemon i might as well right (laughs) so tatawaka says florida is so far from eastern canada hard no well there you go there you go. So that's uh, that's the rumor anyway that, uh, you know, Nightcrawler says hit Star Wars land one day, then Mario, then Pokemon the next day. There you go. It sounds like, I mean, it sounds like a pretty good vacation if you ask me. It sounds sounds pretty good indeed. So that uh, early 2020 Pokemon uh, theme park. Next, we have footage of Yeez 8. I think I said it right. Kirby will let me know for sure. Uh, Yeez 8. And it's looking like the gameplay is is 30 frames a second. Nothing confirmed yet because it looks like some of the footage was was recorded in 30 frames. So even if it was 60, we we really wouldn't know. So, um, but there are there's new footage just released. A couple of videos. I'll have the link to it in the show notes if you want to check it out. The game looks pretty good. It looks to me it looks a lot like uh, a, a lot like Xenoblade. Chronicles 2 that's that was kind of the vibe I was getting from it but it looks to be a pretty fun action RPG and it looks like you can easily switch between your characters and show them taking on some pretty some pretty big monsters that kind of stuff so it's uh it's it's looking pretty good everybody's saying it looks better than the Vita version which I don't think is a big surprise but you know that uh that there it is so Yeez 8 we got a little more footage coming out this summer so if you're stoked about that one make sure to uh make sure to check out the show notes and watch that uh, watch that video all right this this next little bit of news is just kind of weird it's it's a little bit strange so the first part of it's not strange at all nintendo wins uh, bafta awards super mario odyssey took uh game design and family and legend of zelda breath of the wild won game innovation so that's cool. But then Shinya Takahashi was interviewed afterwards and he was talking about just the kind of the excitement of the Switch and, and how Nintendo's doing, uh, doing better than they had been in the past. And then he says that they love to surprise gamers and Nintendo is working on new hardware. Now... <laughs> You know, I think it was, uh, I think a lot of you guys probably know Stealth from from Twitter. And he's like, Nintendo saying they're working on <laughs> new hardware is like saying the sky is blue. Like, that's a no-brainer, right? Everybody is, uh, everybody's anticipating a, a system, a, a new, you know, new hardware. Nintendo is a hardware manufacturer, of course. But they've said very very clearly that 
the switch is going to be on like a six to seven year cycle. So a few different things we can speculate about in chat. I want to hear from you guys in this. I want to know what you guys think this hardware is. So a few different things. One, we could be getting like a switch slim, right? Like the switch mini that we've kind of talked about. It's more hard plastic. The joy cons don't come off. It's strictly a portable machine. Um, other than you could dock it maybe. And these are all just the, these are just the, the things I'm speculating. Right. But, but something that's a little more kid friendly and it will really be like a, a successor to the DS line, but, uh, but it will, they'll all run the same switch games. The other thing is maybe we see an upgraded, uh, switch, uh, Tadawaka saying a switch X pro HD, you know, whatever, whatever the case, whatever the case may be. And so, you know, S Switch Pro is possibly an option that we see a higher resolution screen, faster processing, that kind of thing. Maybe the original Switch gets a little bit of a price drop and and this new Switch uh, falls back into this this 299 price point. I don't it seems it seems early for that, but I mean, who knows? Who knows? We don't really know. The other, the other question I have that I'm kind of wondering about, are we going to see a successor to the DS? Are we going to see the 4DS, <laughs> right? I don't know why I call it the 4DS, but it's just interesting that they would, he would bring up hardware. Now, there is, it is completely possible that the translation for this was incorrect and it's, it, it's completely false altogether. So just, you know, d don't just take it all with a grain of salt. To me, the strangest part is that they're already talking about new hardware. Now, someone in chat mentioned uh, just a little bit ago, false pretense says Labo is totally hardware. Maybe that is the case. Maybe, maybe, maybe it is Labo that they're talking about, even though it's just cardboard. Now they're all harassing me and saying that I want a system with four screens, the four DS, you know? And I mean, it's, you know, who, we don't know. We don't know what it is, but Nintendo's on the top of the world right now. I mean, they could, they can, they can kind of do whatever they want. And it's, it's really exciting to see. So if it is a switch pro, I'm on board with it. I, I got to I'm look, I'm a softie when it comes to the the DS. So if we see a successor to that with a higher resolution screen, I'm down. That could play the library of 3DS plus get some new games. I I'm cool with it. Have a system that's real kid friendly and and uh something that can kind of take a little more of a beating. It falls in that price point that the that the DS is in right now. I say I I say go for it. That, that's where I'm at. I, and I know, I know I'm in the minority. There are a lot of people that are like, let the DS die. Let the switch reign supreme. We, we have this conversation regularly in discord, but I'm, I'm good either way. I'm good either way. So we'll just, uh, we'll have to wait and see if you want more details or anything else you can go. I have a link in the show notes so you can check out uh, everything we know about game explain has a video about it. Um, I have the BBC article, all that right there in the post on my site. So Nightcrawler says Ninten Nintendo tells you what you want and you like it. That is also true. That is also true. Kirby Geek says the DS needs to retire and play golf all day. <laughs> so <laughs> there you go. Kirby Geek has spoken. <laughs> that's uh, and that's that's it. That's it, folks. So <laughs> lastly, as of recording this, Amazon is selling the SNES Classic. So if you're in chat right now and you don't have a SNES Classic and you want to get a hold of one, go over to Amazon right now and order one. This is the regular price, $79.99. No, no, you know, this is not a scalp price. This is just, and, and of course, uh, the quantities are limited. So if you, if you haven't been able to get one yet and you want one, uh, hop on over to, to Amazon and, uh, and pick one of those up. Not sure how long they will last. If you're listening to this on Friday, you can still check, but I don't, I don't know. And I don't know if it's only the States. I, I have no clue as far as that goes, but I did check right before the show started and they are available. So, so there you go. So we did it guys. Another NPC mini under the belt Tuesday. We will have uh, Eric back 
this was just kind of a crazy week for him, unfortunately. But uh, uh, he will be back next Tuesday, or this coming Tuesday. So we'll have a normal NPC. The hero will return. If you guys want to, uh, if you guys want to follow him, it's at hate zero on Twitter. Guys, you can follow me, N64 Josh, on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Patreon, Snapchat, and Vero. One of my goals for this year is to get partnered on Twitch. So if you watch live streams or maybe you haven't really checked out many live streams, come hang out on a Monday night. Come hang out on a Tuesday night. Come hang out on a Thursday night for the, for the normal streams. I want to go for partnership. I really want to try to get it this year. It's kind of a goal I'm setting, and so I need your guys' help to do that. So if you if you want to check out some live streams, maybe for the first time, uh, come and do it. Everybody that's here live right now, thank you guys. Much love. I appreciate it. Again, my Twitter is going to keep you up to date on just news, things like that. My Instagram, I'm kind of I try to post just random pictures of things from my collection as often as I can. So it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. I'm, I'm, I really enjoy that. I don't know if anybody uses Facebook anymore, especially after this week. And uh, of course, there's YouTube videos going out on a regular basis. So pretty much follow me in all the places. Farmers only, even if you want to. I'm not sure, you know, if that's real relevant content or not. But uh, I do want to remind you guys, Smash Bros. Cast is on iTunes, Google Play, Podbean, and Stitcher. The, the, you can also watch it on YouTube. And uh, check it out. If you're if you're getting into Smash, come into the Discord and come play with us. We are playing on a, on a pretty regular basis. Sometimes we stream it. Sometimes we just jump into a room and uh, we just go one on one. And it's it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. I, I've I really feel like I've been improving a lot at the game. And I was absolutely just trash when I first started playing it. Nothing but a button masher. Finally learning the game. It's, it's been really fun. If you're in the same place or if you're really good, come help us out or, you know, just come learn with us. That's that's it's a safe place for you to do that. So lastly, audibletrial.com slash NPC. Get your free book. OPSeat.com. Use coupon code N64Josh to save $10 on your gaming chair. Podbean.com slash NPC if you want to start your own podcast. Patreon.com slash N64Josh to get an extra podcast for a dollar. And you can get an NPC shirt at n64josh.com slash shirt. Nope, slash store. I already said to come to the, the Discord. Last thing, if you guys want to rate and review this show, I'd really appreciate it. We're trying to level it up and get to five stars. We have a few one stars that we need to uh, kind of just kind of wash away. And five star reviews can do that. So thank you so much for everybody that's reviewed. I really appreciate it. Guys that are here live, thank you. Love you guys. We'll see you Tuesday. Have a great weekend. Take it easy.